Vale, bueno, si nueva Death Battle. Scarlet Witch vs. Zatanna, Marvel vs. DC, Death Battle. Ahí vota con mayoría absoluta Scarlet Witch, ¿vale? Algunas Zatanas, pero Scarlet Witch. Es que Scarlet Witch, o sea, es que es, es ridículo. Es, es una puta gema de la realidad, de Scarlet Witch, ¿vale? ¿Cuántos tiene que ver que saquen ahora? <risa> Bueno, pues, o sea, igual Scarlet Witch literalmente se carga el universo. Lo, lo modifica, así que. Es que no, no van a poder. No se puede ganar a Scarlet Witch. O sea, sacas. No se pueden encargar. No, no la pueden. No puede, se puede. Pero bueno. Como es una pelea tan buena como la anterior de Harley Jeans, visualmente, me está contento. La verdad. Así que le damos. And better help. The Scarlet Witch, Marvel's Crimson Queen of Chaos. Zatanna, DC's magnificent mistress of magic. There are those who wield the mystic arts like gods to reshape creation to their whims. And there are those who just like to put on a hell of a show. Either way, don't mess with them if you know what's good for you. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> Though we may drift day by day in a world seemingly concrete and eternal, the fabric of reality is in fact more delicate than we might dare to wonder. Imagine every single iota of it, every star, galaxy, universe, all within the grasp of a single mortal woman to control at her whim. Imagine the danger we're all in if you piss her off. We don't have to, because her name is Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. As a kid, she and her brother Pietro were poor Romani, who were lucky enough to be turned into super-powered freaks by the High Evolutionary. Unable to control her apparently new magical abilities, it wasn't long before Wanda lost control and was branded ah. a witch. Todo eso, eso es nuevo, porque antes eran hijos de Magneto, ¿no? Siempre han sido hijos de Magneto, ahora no son hijos de Magneto, ahora son eh, hijos o creaciones del gran evolucionador. Sí, ya sabéis, cómics, ¿no? Cómics. Eh, cómics, puta basura de cómics. Until who would show up but the mutant no me metes, Brian. No me metes, Brian. Magneto. Magneto. Definitely giving off some big dad energy there. So, to return Magneto's kindness, she and Pietro joined his brotherhood of evil mutants. Great name there, Magneto. Solid branding. And it wasn't long before she traded her supervillain creds for a membership with the Avengers, which might have been a bit too much for poor Wanda because she definitely drew the superpower short stick. By waving her hands, Wanda could create small random events known as hexes, subtly altering the probability of any event happening. That's a cool way of saying she could do like one magic -y thing per fight and then be totally useless. An energy blast here, some telekinesis there, a force field if she's feeling frisky. Well, Not eh. exactly the same eh. as the God of Thunder or the Jolly Green Worldbreaker. But something strange was happening. Over time, her hexes increased yeah. in breadth and power, as if there was more to Wanda's powers than met the eye. She learned to slow and stop ah, time, vale, train and absorb energy, duplicate herself and others, teleport to different dimensions, and even strip others of their powers entirely. It was almost as if there was more to Wanda than just being some random science experiment. Let's ask our resident expert on the deepest trenches of character history. Jocelyn, if you will. In reality, Wanda's powers weren't entirely the result of the High Evolutionary, nor was she the mutant daughter of Magneto, as he's claimed. Her powers weren't just some simple hexes. She might as well have been a god. Until now, she had merely been dipping her toes into the vast ocean known as Chaos Magic. Though her powers may have seemed to be the byproduct of science, they were in reality the gift of the Lovecraftian elder god Cthon, who attempted to turn Wanda into his future vale. vessel. Reminds me of my summers by the sea with old Uncle Yogg'sathoth. In time, Wanda discovered she could alter the probability of anything she could think of, turning a mathematical impossibility into an absolute certainty, and vice versa. Wanda's powers kept growing and growing, turning her into a being strong enough to rival even the mightiest of gods. Like, literally, Wanda's Chaos Magic is counterpart to the Phoenix Force, the embodiment of cosmic order. You know, that fiery space chicken that can destroy the universe? <laughs> Wanda fought it, and even briefly erased it from existence. At her height, the Scarlet Witch achieved total control over energy, the weather, the elements, your mind, your body, your soul, all of time, all of matter, and all of reality. She can wipe you from existence with a thought and rend the very fabric of the universe as though it were tissue paper. She is ¿Entiendes? Esto no es TNT, esto es magia, esto es pluralismo. Wanda hace... Oh, no, no, ni esto. Wanda... Y has muerto. Con que lo pienses... No, y no mueres. Desapareces. No existes. ¿Sabéis la típica historia de Harry Potter donde desaparece el mundo? El final de Spider-Man, No Way Home. Wanda lo hace rascándose el coño. 
isn't even limited to chaos magic either. They might not have been what made her a god, but the High Evolutionary's experiments did make her more receptive to channeling magical energy. Oh, maybe that's why Mama Boomstick always warned me about redheads. She's so receptive, hey. in fact, that Wanda is the lone nexus being of the 616 reality, a focal point for the universe's magical energies, and one that belongs equally to all other timelines. It's no wonder she me. was considered a candidate for Sorcerer Supreme. I mean, shit, why wasn't she? She might as well be a walking, talking infinity gauntlet. Well, she may have the power of a god, but she's still stuck with a human's body that can be overpowered by physically stronger foes. Though, she also survived being shot with a black matter bullet capable of, and I quote, world-shattering energy. So there's that. She does technically need to be able to think of a spell in order to get it to happen, so she could theoretically be blitzed. But she's also blocked Thor's galaxy-crossing hammer, kept up with dudes like X-Man who can fight within plank time, and even amp her own speed beyond the concept of speed herself. Despite being far and away the mightiest among Earth's mightiest heroes, Wanda resented the pressure of her incredible power. She actually wanted a quiet life as a wife and a mother. But because no one in comics is allowed to have a happily ever after, no, that life was taken from her by literal Satan. Not the last time he'd do this, too. Wanda snapped, and she took the multiverse with her. No By more into Newton. an inconceivable and unknowable pool of energy known as the life force, Wanda rewrote all of reality, creating a new universe where life was just how she wanted it. No matter whose lives she no had to change, more in Newton. this house of M, she had her family back, but at the cost of her sanity. And it wasn't long before it all came crashing down around her. Once her family and friends discovered the lie of their new lives and turned against her, she uttered three fateful words and erased nearly all of mutant kind. No more mutants. mutants. Wanda weaved her magic throughout all of existence, created cracks across reality which spread throughout the Omniverse, and threatened to annihilate all of creation, the entirety of Marvel's infinite cosmology. Everything that ever was. Shit got dark. Infinito. Entiendes? Wanda is infinito. 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 Casi infinito. Satana, ¿qué ha hecho? Satana es maja. Me cae bien. Es guapa. Y se lleva bien con Constantine. Es... Pero... O sea, es Fate, es... Fate es más poderoso que Satana. Ponme a Fate, joder. And while Wanda has worked to keep her powers in check since then, that threat is always there. But honestly, that sounds more like a problem for anyone who's stupid enough to get in her way. A ver, el hombre molécula es trampa. O sea, Doctor Doom respeta al hombre molécula. El puto Doom. Mmm. The curse, a help and a hex. Es un deus de máquina, literal. Of the Scarlet Witch. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by the Northmen. Uh, remind me why you need to be holding a god slaying axe to watch a movie trailer. Side to go see the north. <laughs> come one, come all to see the magnificent Zatanna Zatara. For never was there a greater professor of Preston digital performance. AKA magic! Except Zatanna spells aren't just smoke and mirrors, they're the real deal. So you're really getting your money's worth. She learned everything she knew from her father, Giovanni Zatara, who put his powers to good use as one of DC's very first superheroes. No joke, he's the guy who taught Batman everything he knows about escape artistry. He debuted the same issue as Superman, and the young Zatanna was more than happy to serve as his assistant, learning everything he knew about the cutthroat world of entertainment. Oh, and, and game shit too, but the former is way worse. She inherited her father's incredible mystical abilities as well. Essentially, anything Zatanna thinks of, she can make real. And she focuses this absurdly powerful ability by speaking her desired effect backwards. Her father bases this technique on the diaries of Leonardo cojones. da Vinci, who some theorize no, 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 estás flipando. Todo lo que piensa puede ser realidad, no. Si fuera así, en el mundo en el cual aparece Zatanna, todo el mundo hubiese acabado. Todo tiene que decir al revés. Muere. O... Oh. Encadenado o oh, quieto, ya está. Y a tomar por culo. Sería como el de Jujutsu Kaisen, el que tiene la voz aquí. Pero no, no es como Wanda. Wanda sí que lo hace. Satana no. Siento que los cojonando Satana. And his ideas from the repressive medieval Catholic Church. Hey. Or because he was left handed. Yeah, that's another theory. If you hate fun. And Zatanna's apparently big-brained enough that she has no problem speaking backwards at the drop of a hat. Like when this one dude kept reversing time in the middle of her sentences, she started speaking in palindromes so that she'd still be speaking backwards no matter what. I mean, you know what they say, Wiz. 
Go hang a salami. I'm a lasagna hug. With her magic, Zatanna has bent the laws of reality to her whims. She has transmuted matter on an atomic level, teleported across dimensions, commanded the elements, turned invisible, removed powers, cast illusions, read and controlled minds, traveled through and stopped time, and can even wipe people from existence with a single word. It might not seem obvious from La única forma en la que Zatanna gane a Wanda es que la pueda engañar. Y Zatanna quizás más inteligente. Zatanna puede ganar a Wanda por inteligencia y habilidades. Porque Wanda es sencillamente demasiado poderosa. En poder, no gana. En habilidades, Zatanna puede ganar. Es la típica pelea de poder versus habilidades. Es como la típica de Goku versus, versus Superman. Goku gana a Superman 100. Sí, ¿por qué? ¡Pup! Y a tomar por culo al Superman. ¡Pup! ¡Anda, mira cuántos soles rojos, Superman! ¡Te voy a hostiar! <risa> ¿Pero Goku no haría eso? Claro que no, claro que no. Oh, qué va. Hokey Magic Castle get up, but Zatanna is one of the most powerful sorcerers in DC. Like the time she battled the Time Tailor Zor, an old enemy of the Spectre. You know, the Angel of God's Divine Wrath. In order to defeat an opponent of such unimaginable power, Zatanna okay. focused her magical might into shattering the boundaries of reality. She reached out beyond the very comic panels themselves and pulled Zor's entire magical universe down around him. She literally handled all of reality like it was a sheet of paper and crumpled it in her hands. Claro. That might seem completely incomprehensibly impossible to us, but it's all a matter of belief. Literally, as long as Zatanna believes she can do something with her magic, she'll do it. As she puts it, her magic is essentially asserting one reality, then replacing it with another. This is similar to other magical characters like... Pues entonces Zatanna está mal escrita, secas. No, si su poder es eso, Zatanna no puede perder. Es peor que Wanda. A secas. Si, mientras crea... O sea, es como Green Lantern. Buen ejemplo, como Green Lantern. Green Lantern es otro deus en máquina. ¿Os acordáis cuando ganaba en Ten? Era imposible. <risa> También. Eh, ¿Por qué? Belief. A secas. Es decir, mientras lo crea, gano. Pues ya está. Solo me... Creo que gano a Wanda. Ya está. Creo que soy inmortal. Creo que Batman me ha follado. Quiero decir, no. <risa> que va. Ya está. Un personaje mal escrito. Pues odio ver cómics. Es decir, no puedes ponerme a Tatana que sea tan broken. No tiene sentido. <risa> Entonces, no, me acabo de decir, es literalmente como Zatanna es inganable. Es inganable. Inganable. Tiene el poder de, mientras crea, gano. Undertale. Dr. Fate and Green Lantern, whose powers have been stated to work the exact same way. But it's not like any rando can do magic by wishing on a star. Zatanna is genetically predisposed to this kind of magical reality warping. Her mom was in actuality a homo magi, a subrace of humans that are naturally adept at magic. So it's no wonder that Zatanna became an invaluable member of both the Justice League of America and Justice League Dark. The, the Shadow the Hedgehog version, basically. Zatanna harnessed an entire year's worth of sunlight into a single energy blast, created ruptures across all of space and time throughout the DC multiverse, and has even claimed she's as powerful as Superman himself. Pre-Crisis Superman, in case you were wondering. Her only limit is her imagination and will. In fact, her backward speaking is mostly a stagecraft tradition meant to boost her concentration. In a pinch, she can cast a spell with a single thud. And I doubt anyone's winning a quick draw with her. She's matched superheroes like Martian Manhunter, who scanned every mind on Earth in a blank instant. Or how about Dr. Fate, whose magic traveled across the universe at the completely immeasurable velocity of God? Zatanna has fended off countless reality-shattered threats like the Eldritch Upside Down Man, Primordial Darkness, that is evil incarnate, and the Void Beyond Creation, Prolia. This shadow goop lady ate all of DC Comics, all of creation, everything. Gods, demons, rabbits, and spandex, everything. And Zatanna's magic was strong enough to hold her back. And then, after secretly implanting Swamp Thing inside Prolia, she weaved a spell within him to literally regrow all of reality back in seconds. Zatanna vale. tricked a being older than God and then blew her ass up from the inside with a whole new omniverse. Abraka goddamn Dabra. Such is the almighty power of Zatanna's will. Should it falter though, or should her focus be disrupted, it could all come crashing down like a house of cards. Belief is a fragile thing after okay, all, enough. and her powers were weakened for a time after she lost belief in herself. Children! She's definitely got Children! Children. Vimos hace poco en Young Justice, ¿vale? Como Children se folla a todos. Children, una demonio, se folló a todos. Y de tanto como... Cuando vaya de hecho, die, es un demonio, no le importa. <risa> One big weak point. She's a huge daddy's girl. Despite her amazing career, she has struggled within herself to live up to her father's legacy, especially after his heroic death. 
And this MFR has died a lot of times. So Z's therapy can't be cheap, especially after dating John Constantine. Oh, I can just smell the lager and self-loathing from here. No, oh, oh wait, that's me. Questionable romance aside, Zatanna is a consummate professional raised on one singular principle. The show must go on, and she'll always finish strong with a standing ovation. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Relationships are ours. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle with magic. Mm. Mm. Oh, thank you, Aww. thank you. And for my first trick, stop on it, if I don't care. Uh, ta-da! You, what sort of two-bit sorceress do you think you are? Oh, what a hint of bit. Uh, perhaps, yes. perhaps I was being generous. <laughs> All part of the show, folks. <laughs> Still <are walking. laughs> oh. Huh? Es buena. ¿Por qué no? ¿Por qué no? Venga ahí, claro que sí. Do you know the difference between you and I? Power. Well, I think the difference is presentation. So, Mega Man. I know a trick. Mega Man reference. Mierda. You never says you can't run forever. Now make like a magician and disappear. Están las dos. Ten el topa. Y voy a decir por qué he ganado. Puta madre. Ah, diré por qué ganas a Satana, ya veréis. No, va a ganar a Satana, eh. Os lo digo ya. Ya diré por qué. A disappearing act was the first thing Dad ever taught me. And for my final trick, Smash it Roll Wars! No more witches. And that's our show, ladies and germs. Os voy a decir por, 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 ¿sabéis por qué. Ah, es una frase que han dicho, ¿vale? El poder de Wanda es casi infinito. Casi infinito. El de Satana no. ¿Lo veis? Solo por eso. Eso hay que leer entre líneas. Wanda es casi infinito. Satana ganó a la. A, a algo que es más que infinito. Literalmente. Ganó a. Con Swan Thing, no, pero. Dejemos aparte nada, como Zatanna ganó a la diosa de la oscuridad más vieja que Dios, pues ya está. Y volví a crear el universo. <coughs> ya está, así de simple. Pues esa razón nada más. Entonces, esta pelea debería ser una pelea, una pelea, una pelea de pensar a secas. Como Zatanna básicamente escapa y engaña a Wanda para que se suicide. Controlando su mente o qué me hace. Well, that's a magic trick that's to die for. Analyzing this matchup was like walking on a tightrope. It could fall either way at any point. Because at the end of the day, both these ladies could do basically anything with their magic. All they had to do was think and shit would happen. They were totally even. At her peak, Wanda was able to threaten the stability of all creation. And at Zatanna's best, she was able to hold back Prolia, who could do the exact same thing. And despite some differences, the omniversal no. cosmologies of Marvel and DC Comics are roughly equivalent in size and scope. All that was left for us to look at was their weaknesses. Well, both were as powerful as one another. Wanda needed to tap into the life force to reach that pinnacle, and doing so threatened her sanity. Well, let's take a closer look at the events surrounding House of M, where Wanda's powers were at their maximum. Despite admitting that she was way stronger, Doctor Strange managed to get the best of Wanda with a cool head and a spell that briefly knocked her out cold. His wits against her mental instability were enough to turn oh, the tide. Oh, Doctor Strange dejó cao a Wanda. 
Satana la dejo cao yo de una hostia. ¿Cuándo me han dejado cao Satana? Joder, en Jan Justice, la hostia. Cao por tres. Le gana el puto mierda de Robin Hood. El Robin. Eh, estaba por culo. To be clear, this instability definitely wouldn't affect her power. She was still strong enough to create a completely new alternate reality and then erase it just as easily. What it would do is leave her open. Also, take her No More Mutant spell. As insanely powerful as it was to affect the whole of Marvel's creation, it wasn't entirely successful. There was still a tiny portion of Earth's mutant population left unaffected, likely due to interference from Strange and Emma Frost. Against Satana, who was just as strong and not losing her mind, she wouldn't be able to afford that kind of lapse, even for an instant. On the other hand, Zatanna has managed to maintain her willpower fighting foes just as strong as the Scarlet Witch, so she didn't have the same kind of exploitable weakness. And remember, she doesn't actually need to say her spells backwards. It helps with her concentration, but all her spells come from her mental impulses, just like Wanda. She's consistently pulled off nonverbal spells in the past, even against beings as strong as Prolia. In the end, Z definitely had enough experience fighting smart and keeping on her toes to hang with Wanda long enough to get in a finishing blow. While there were definitely versions of this battle that could have Injustice! El puto Injustice! ¿Por qué pasó Injustice esta satana? ¿Eh? ended with Wanda victorious, Zatanna's cooler head and effortless magic allowed her to prevail. I guess you could say Wanda never saw it coming, and Zatanna maxim offed her. The winner is Zatanna. Death Battle is back and we've launched a brand new membership program for our YouTube channel. By directly supporting our team, you'll get unique emotes, badges, and additional content, and a bunch more. Click that join button to see more info, and thanks so much for watching. Me estás vacilando. Ay, Dios. Porque básicamente el jamo es el poder del sol, ¿vale? Como Tanjiro, por si no, por si no pilláis la pelea, ¿vale? Eh... Va a ganar Jonathan porque ganó a Dio. Que pudo esquivar... Mm. Wow, es que está muy mal hecha la pelea final. Es que la pelea contra Muzan, Tanjiro sube muchos niveles de poder. Mm. Puede que gane Tanjiro, eh. Puede que gane Tanjiro. Puede que gane Tanjiro. Mm. Muy seguramente gane Tanjiro. Muy seguramente gane Tanjiro. Viendo cómo lo hacen de Patel, ¿eh? obviamente una pelea real, Jonathan se cepilla a Tanjiro, el puto criajo de mierda. Es... Vale, en, en todos los niveles. A secas. Mm... Pero estoy viendo en cómo, cómo lo va a hacer de la Death Battle y creo que Tanjiro va a ganar. Por solo la pelea final contra Muzan. El hecho de que Tanjiro pudiese contra Muzan... Con lo roto, 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 roto que está Muzan ya está. Aunque técnicamente estaba hipernerfeado. Y eso no lo van a poner. Es como Wanda, que estaba con la Life Force, no lo ponen como algo exclusivo. No puedes poner que Wanda en su máximo podía subir en un universo. No estaba en su máximo, estaba fusionado con un poder. Es como decir que Goku puede contra Broly porque, se, porque le ganó Vegeto. Y como Goku se puede fusionar en Vegeto, en realidad estamos poniendo el poder de Vegeto como Goku. ¡No! ¡No me toques el nabo! ¡No lo es! Esto está mal escrito. Pues lo que van a hacer. Como Tanjiro pudo contra Muzan, y Muzan básicamente es un puto Super Saiyan, eh, el desgraciado. Ahí está, ahí por velocidad. Muzan es absurdamente rápido, muchas habilidades, y tal y pascual, y bla, bla, bla. No. Eh, tal cual, sí, va a, va a ganar, va a ganar, va a ganar Tanjiro. Así que van a hacer esa trampa. Ya veréis. Ya veréis. Aunque, repito, tendré que ganar yo, yo, yo por diferencia. Abismal. Pero abismal. 
Ah, y a todo esto. Me gusta más Tanjiro que Jonathan. Si fuese Joseph, ya, ya, ya ni de poña, pero ya sabéis que odio el primer Joyos, ¿vale? El primer Joyos es horrible. El primer Joyos es horrible, Jonathan es horrible. O personaje horrible. Pero bueno, Deu. <risa> 